In this project, we'll show you how to make a UV LED brush cleaner with a simple circuit and 3D printing. The UV LEDs will actually sterilize and disinfect the bristles, preventing any potential breakouts. The enclosure can hold up to nine different brushes and it can dry them with a small fan. This attachment was 3D printed in NinjaFlex and it can hold double-ended brushes so they won't fray the bristles. The attachment fits right on top of the enclosure and it's pretty easy to remove. It can also hold different size brushes or several brushes depending on their diameter. A small fan will lightly dry the bristles if they're damp, while the vents on the outside of the enclosure will allow air to flow through the inside. So to build this project, you'll need a few parts, all of which you can find listed in the tutorial linked below. The 3D printed parts are fairly large, but you can easily cut them up to fit your printer's build volume. The brush attachment was dual extruded, but you could easily print them in two separate pieces. We 3D printed the enclosure on the Sigma 3D printer from BCN3D using regular PLA material. We were able to cut the print time in half by using a 0.6mm nozzle. The top cover requires a bit of support material to properly print the inset opening which holds the brush attachment. But it's easy to remove the support material with a pair of flat pliers. The brush attachment has some tight tolerances so it'll just snap into place. To make our LED circuit, we use the half-size Adafruit Permaproto breadboard. The UV LEDs are evenly spaced out and each LED requires a current limiting resistor of 100 ohms. Be sure to check out our circuit diagram and follow along with the full tutorial, we'll have it linked in the description. We'll solder all of the components in place and trim the excess leads short. A pair of wires will connect the cathode and anode of the LED to the power rails along the side of the breadboard. Then we'll repeat the process for all 15 UV LEDs. Next, we can work on the Adafruit Power Boost. We'll need to connect the Perma Proto to the five volts and ground pins, then the fan to the remaining power and ground. Then we can test the circuit by providing five volts through the micro USB port on the Adafruit Power Boost. With our circuit done, we can secure the breadboard to the bottom cover of the enclosure using two machine screws. Then another set for the Adafruit Power Boost. We mounted the fan to the inside of the enclosure with four sets of nuts and screws. Once our components are mounted, we can assemble the bottom cover to the enclosure and plug in the micro USB cable to the power boost. The top cover simply fits over the enclosure and that's pretty much it. This USB cable has a built-in power switch which makes it easy to power on and off. The overall size of this project is pretty compact, so it'll fit right on your desk and it won't take a lot of space. So if you're looking for a way to clean and store your brushes, be sure to check out this project. And thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more 3D printing projects from Adafruit.